Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Photoshop Element 7 tutorial. Sam here from Tech Talker. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a um, realistic digital tattoo um, and also how to remove uh, original ones that are actually on your skin if you want to know how to remove them. Um, so to remove them, um, simply, it, I don't really have the image up yet, but just go to the little um, clone stamp tool here. So yeah, clone stamp tool. And you're going to like you're going to have pieces of your bare skin, obviously, the part with no tattoo on it. You're going to click on that area, or you're going to hold down Alt and click on the area, and then you go back to where your tattoo is that you want to remove, and then just click on your tattoo. And then it will clone it, and it will cover up the tattoo with the skin. And then you can go in the um, filter, blur, and blur it out. So, um, now to add a realistic digital tattoo... Um, is the main tutorial, so let's go ahead and jump right into that. I don't want this to be too long, so we're going to start off by going to File, Open, and we're going to select the picture that you want to add a tattoo. Now, I got this one off of Google, and it's Jennifer Aniston, but you can um, use yourself, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we have this. Um, so, first step, we're going to turn our black and white. We'll do this by going to Enhance, Convert to Black and White, and you can choose which one best gets the tone around the edge. Now, I think Urban Snapshots best um, does that for me, but, you know, whatever best describes you. So, just go ahead and hit OK. Now, we're going to um, save this as a gradient map so we can go back so it loops around our shoulders. So, now that we have that, we're going to go to the File, Save As. Click on the little second bar, and we're going to make it Photoshop PSD. And then, you can re make sure you rename it, and make sure it's include in the organizer. This is checked. This should always be checked. And then not as a copy. So I'm just going to rename it. Tutorial. Okay. And just hit save. Let it save. Alright. Now we're going to go back to the original picture. <clears throat> to the right. Let's pass that here. Okay. So now we're back with the original picture. So now we're going to be adding the tattoo. Um. Now, for me, I uh, downloaded brushes from right here, brush tool. As you see, there's a wide uh, variety. Um, so to get these, just go to your internet, and I will have all the links in the description. This is the website where you get them from. So just copy that and just paste it in your web browser. Okay, now these are all a thousand. On 1,300 excellent free travel brushes and tattoo tutorials for Photoshop. <clears throat> so, um, this is going to give you a bunch of different ones. You can just click on whichever one that you like. Uh, doesn't really matter. Well, kind of does, depending on what kind of tattoo you want. They got a bunch of different ones. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Um, <laughs> so, whatever. This one. Go open up a new link. So, you're going to maximize it. Now, don't worry, guys, there are no viruses. You're going to hit download file. Now, I have WinRAR installed, but I don't think you need this because it's basically just a zip file that you can do by yourself. But and then I'm just going to hit open. So, once it comes up, hit open, and a new um, file box is going to come up for me at least. So, I'm going to hit open. I'm going to scroll down, right click, show, show containing folder. Now, I don't know if those will be the same steps for you because I have Safari, but whichever way that you can get to here, I'm going to right click, and if this is a zip file, you just hit unzip here, and I'm just going to hit extract here. Let it extract. Shouldn't take that long. Boom. Now we have this right here, and that's what we put in the Photoshop. So once you can, you can just copy and paste that to your desktop. Okay. So just copy and paste that to your desktop. And go back in the Photoshop. And click on the down arrow. Click over here and hit load brushes. And then go to where you saved it. And then just hit, click on it and hit load. Alright, so once you have your brush selected, click on whichever one you like. Um, I like this one. I'm just going to change it to something different. Because I've been messing around with the tattoos. And some of them, they bend a little bit too much. Alright, so this is probably good. So I'm going to exit out. Change the pixel size. That's a bit too big, probably right there. All right, so now make sure it's on pure black, and that would just be zero going all the way down. Okay, so make sure that's your foreground color. I'm gonna just click. 
Alright. Control Z. Control Z that. Click on a new layer before you click. Alright, now go ahead and click. Alright. Now, sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm just trying to get this in between the 10 minute limit for YouTube. Whoa there. Yeah, as you can see, my computer is obviously not the best. Can cancel that. Cancel. Mm -mm. Cancel. Exit out. Exit out. Come on. And, okay, that's all I need. Alright. So now, um, go to the mouse tool, and we're going to transform this and adjust it to the shoulder. Sorry, my control, my computer is kind of laggy. Not the best. Alright. Actually, I'm going to delete. Okay, so right about there, and then you can rotate it. So it kind of fits the meaning. Alright, so right there is probably good. Alright, so now once we have that, we're going to make a, um, we're going to stroke the image. Do that by going up to edit. Stroke outline selection. Um, for me, it's one pixel, but, um, whichever, how much you want the tattoo outlined. No, it really doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to keep it at one pixel. Outside, normal, and 100%. And for the color, we're going to, um, I'm going to have it in the description. All of these numbers you're going to type uh, sequentially. Or you can just type the finished one down here. But whichever one you want this color. Okay. Hope that's not too confusing. So you want that right there. And then just hit okay. Alright, so now as you see it, it outlined the tattoo. Um, now it, it kind of was a little bit too bold and blue. That's just only because of the tattoo that I chose. But so let's just go ahead and continue. So once we have that... We're going to distort this image by the, um, uh, displace it by the, uh, displacement map that we just made with the black and white image. So go to filter, uh, distort, displace. Make sure it's stretch to fit, wrap around, hit OK. Now make sure you have your tattoo selected while you do this. And then you're going to go into where you save the black and white image. Now mine, I think, is Jennifer Ann Innocent Tutorial, hit open. Alright, so now as you see, it kind of changes the tattoo right there, kind of warped, and it like, kind of fit her shoulder. So yeah, that makes it more like wrap around as if it's not just plain out there straight. So now we're going to make it look more realistic by going up the filter, blur, Caucasian blur. And then, you know, whichever one, 0.4 probably. Hit OK. Um, click on the new la layer one, and then you can adjust the opacity. You know, make it just more realistic. So there, guys, that's how you make a digital tattoo in Photoshop Element 7. Um, hope you guys uh, like that. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Um, happy holidays, and please have a wonderful break. My break's coming up. Yippee kaye. Um, so guys, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace out.